when I became a Navy SEAL, MIT <laughs> called me up and wanted me to go sit on this panel, this board with this great minds. And this one guy was like, he had like, like one of the greatest minds on like, on like mental toughness. And he was a theorist and I'm no theorist. He's, he spent hours and hours and decades just studying the mind, studying how the mind works in situations. And there was about probably 200 people there, all from MIT. And there was about five people on the panel and I was just sitting there. And I was listening to this guy talk and all the questions, this guy answered almost every single question. I wasn't answering a single question. First of all, I'm at MIT and I'm flashing back to my junior year in high school, I couldn't even read. So I'm pretty, you know, intimidated. And one person in the crowd asked me a question. They go, well, how do you feel about what professor so-and-so was saying? And I was like, well, I, uh, I disagree with everything he said. <laughs> and they're like, everybody's mouth dropped. I said, oh my God, I really screwed myself right now. So I had to tell them why I disagree with it. Cause the story I'm gonna tell you right now is totally, it goes against everything the guy was saying. So while I say he was a theorist, I was a practitioner. God, whatever you believe in, I believe in God, put me in hellish situations to figure out how in the world am I gonna overcome these situations. And through a, just battling myself, battling my own insecurities, battling my own fear, self-doubts, and all this baggage we all carry, I built this indestructible toolbox and I carry with me everywhere I go now. With that being said, I need a very, very, very strong person to come up here on stage with me real quick. You guys are really engaged right now. Awesome, it's time to go, oh, strong man, I like it. Go ahead and come up here. Yeah, give, come on. I want you to stand up for these people. Look at these beautiful people. They're gonna give you no feedback. Trust me, it feels like hell up here, horribly. <laughs> The guys remind me of a time when I was in sixth grade, I had a real bad stuttering problem. I suffered from toxic stress. So I stuttered, my hair was falling out. We'll get to all that in a second. I'm gonna bore the hell out of you all today. So guess what happened? I got on stage, kind of like you are right now. I looked out at an audience that gave me no feedback. And guess what I did? I walked off stage and didn't say any of my lines because I was gonna stutter. So I got scared. Don't you get scared up here. Are you used to this? Okay, Roger that. All right, what we're gonna do is this. I became a master of the mind because my mind was so weak. What we fear the most, we like to run away from. I took the exact opposite approach to life. You're gonna hear some jacked up stories. I'm gonna tell you a few of them. And everything I did in life, I wasn't really like comfortable doing, but that's how I mastered myself. So I'm gonna show you how strong the mind is. This isn't any kind of black magic trick. Only two black guys in the room, they gotta laugh us up, right? <laughs> Jesus, wake the hell up, people. All right, check it out. I want you to think about something real powerful, something that makes you powerful, all right? And what I'm gonna do, you have, you have good shoulders, right? Okay, what I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna have you get your arms like this, lock out your elbows, and put them up like that. Don't bend them at all, all right? I'm not gonna do any kind of like half press, I'm gonna press them down. Don't let me press them down then. All right, think about something positive. You good? Oh, you're pretty strong. Okay, put them down. I didn't think you'd be that strong. I thought this little skinny guy be a little punk. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm gonna do now. I want you now to not play a game on me. I want you to think about something in your life that has jacked you up. You can hear my story pretty soon how life jacked me up. I want you to think about something. We all have a story. I want you to go back in your mind and just take 30 seconds just to think about something, okay? Everybody's looking at you too, man. It's kind of weird, isn't it? You're good? All right. Get some water, man, because you're strong. I gotta get my hydration on. All right. You're thinking about it. Okay, push your arms up the same way. Think about it, all right? Come on, man, I'm not even trying, people. Look at this. Half effort. All right, put him down. Honestly, look at that look. Like, what the hell just happened, right? 
right? So tell me. Now, honestly, I don't know you from Adam. Hope your name is Adam because I've been kind of funny, but it's not, is it? All right. Anyway, tell these people how much strength did you lose from the first time to the second time? How much strength did you lose? Yeah. So the first time you were extremely strong. The second time you were very weak. Okay, yes. Anyway, people. <laughs> Woo, we'll talk after this, man. We got a lot to talk about. So basically, all that was is what we all do in our lives. And don't leave because you're extremely weak right now. I got to give you your strength back. What we do our whole lives is we become poopy pants. Poopy pants, if you have a kid and they crap on themselves and they're in a diaper, they walk like this because they don't want to touch the poop on their butt or their legs. What we do is we allow our lives to literally take a hold of us, crumble us up, and make us poopy pants. We think we handle something, but we have them. Whenever something gets hard, whenever something gets difficult in life, guess what happens? That comes right to the front of our lives. We may not be thinking about the time, but we hold it back here in our subconscious. We don't handle everything. We're not giving ourselves the right nutrition, our mind nutrition, to get us through what we have to do. We're not winning the war against ourselves. So what you have to do right now to get that strength back is the whole time I'm telling you something right now. So basically, I just played you up here and said, think about something negative. You would never think about something negative. All right? You want to always turn negatives into positives. All right? So right now, Go back to your mindset. Go back to think about something strong, something positive. That's what you always want to fuel yourself with. So take 10 seconds. Do that. Get your strength back. Now you sit down, all right? You good? All right, put your arms back up. Now I'm going to try extremely hard to push them down, all right? Ah, all right, man. Sit down. Thank you very much. Appreciate you.